Hello again, a new day, a new project, and here I am trying to build a bandpass filter. I got these filters for a LoRa 868 megahertz. In fact, this is 866.5 megahertz. And I'm gonna try to put these things together and have a filter. And of course, to have a test, a band test, I may say, to see uh, exactly how these filters are built and what's the situation uh, for, uh, you know, for the frequency range and so on. Okay, so let me show you the filter. This is ground, ground, this is input and that's output. And this will be connected here in between these two pins. But first of all, let me have these two SMA female connectors together. Good. Very nice. So, I don't need any case for that because this will be in the air somehow and like I said, this is the input here and this is the ground. All around, all the other things are ground. Now I have to find me some really nice pieces of wire. You know, very, very thin. And I'm gonna use this kind of cable. Let me have the isolation off. And there we go. So I'll connect first the ground flux okay now these little devices are prone to electrostatic discharge so you have to be real careful about uh, about the way you manipulate this yes we are good to go so let me have ground first. Okay. That's ground. These things are tiny. As you can see. Now let me have the second ground connection. Okay, pretty good there. So that is ground. Now I need two wires to connect the input and the output of the device. Perfect. The other one. Okay. And here we are with the output. Oh, this wire is impossible. Let me try something else. Yes. Nice. Okay, and here we are again with the other terminal. Perfect. No, not yet. Yep. We have to put these things together in between those pins. Of course, let me clean it a little bit before. That's the input here. Okay. That's the ground, and here also. Now let me put this thing together first. There 
Share is okay. This is okay too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, and there's the terminal here. Let's have this solder it. Good. And good. And yes. We have a functional filter now. Out. Here we are. That's a really nice functional filter. This is the input. Let me write it down. Okay. So the first step, it's done. Let me clean it a little bit. We got the in, we got the out and the ground and everything we need. So then we can go to test the result. Okay, so here I have the Nano VNA connected to the computer. Let's, uh, let me have a calibration first of all. So it's a need to have calibration. And uh, I'm going to use these extensions for measuring the filter. We have a calibration assistant here. Okay. Okay, please do. The short. Which one is short? This one is short. Yes. Okay. Then open. This one is open. And then load. Yes, I want to continue. And now we have to tie both of them, both the extensions. And we are ready to go. I'm gonna save this one for later use. And we are calibrated, you see. We're gonna take care of, or in fact, we're gonna watch this blue line here. We are on zero dB. And it's time to connect the filter. Okay, and let me measure between 800 megahertz to 950 megahertz. And let's go. Okay, here we have the result. Of course, It's exactly like it was advertised. 866, I think, is the top. 866. With a kind of... Uh, okay, let me look for the blue one. So we have a gain of 5.74. I don't know how to, how to take this. But anyway, if you remember the line was on zero. Okay, so let's try the same test directly on the Nano VNA. Let me have the filter. Okay, I'll connect this to the cable. The, this is in. And output, of course. And 
I have to recall calibration zero and let's have a stimulus from 800 and 50 megahertz to 910 megahertz well this is the top here minus 569 okay let's write that down five six seven let's say db and now let's have the the connectors in short to see the reference number okay the filter is out so you see the graphic is the same like on the computer but like i said i really don't know how the computer is working and uh, what those uh, graphics are meaning so it's still a learning curve I need to take so the reference here it's 3.26 dB so that means let me have the filter back in our case okay maybe i should go a little bit down here like 800 megahertz to have a clear picture right you see it's a very well we can see that very nice and it's covering perfect the lora band 574 even okay so let's deduct We've got 8 here, we got uh, 3 and 2. So this is the total loose, 2.38 dB. That's how much this filter is losing. And it's exactly, by the way, how they uh, have it in the pamphlet so I was expecting that okay guys I hope this is useful uh, please like please subscribe and uh, of course don't forget to have fun see you soon with news bye bye